Hey yo, what's up guys? It's Professor and today we're going to be going over setting up your MPK Mini uh, to be used with performance mode in FL Studios just like you saw here. There's a good bit of information to go over so stick with me or if you're already somewhat knowledgeable and you just want to get to specific parts you can check the times annotated below uh, in description. And uh, be sure to drop a like if this video helps today or answers any questions and subscribe because the next video we do will be setting up any project you make for performance mode. But first we need to figure out how we're gonna be doing this with our MIDI controllers, whether you're using an MPK mini or a separate MIDI controller, as long as you have an editor software for it, you should be okay. So let's, uh, let's hop right on in. You guys will have to stick with me through the boring stuff until we get to the good stuff because uh, it's just how it is if you want to set this up to be used. So, okay, let's see. The first thing that you guys are going to need, no matter what, you have to have this before you can do anything else, is you have to have the Akai Professional whatever MPK Mini Editor software. A link to this will be in the description. So the reason why you have to have this is because we need to set up our pads like these ones. Let me just get, uh, I can get the programs from my MPK Mini by setting up my input and output to be these and then clicking OK. Now, let me get my programs that I've made. We have to set up our pads in a specific way. The important thing is the notes right at the top of each pad. That's what's going to allow us to use our MPK Mini and our pads for performance mode. Uh, I went over all of this so you guys wouldn't have to. I went ahead and read like this whole freaking manual. So, uh, yeah, like I said, drop a like for the boy just for doing that. I like freaking looked through all this stuff and then like watched a freaking Russian tutorial video to figure this out. So let's get back into this. The way to set up your playlist tracks during performance mode is to set your triggers to be between C0 and B0. In reality, they need to update this part of the manual because it actually starts at negative uh, 1C unless the MPK is just has an extra range down there. You need to line things up from C to C sharp, so C0, C sharp 0, D, D sharp, and all of them go on zero for the first row. So basically what that means is we'll pull up our performance mode file and I'll sh bitch, get out of here with that. I'm gonna make this real small on the side so you guys can check out what's going on here. All right guys, this is basically what happens. Anything that you want to play in playlist track one through 12, playlist track one, clip one, two, three, four, etc. They are dictated by using C0 to B0. And as you can see, I set up my pads, negative C or C negative one, C sharp negative one, D negative one, D sharp negative one. That means whenever I press these, it will trigger one of these four. And then you'll see C1 to B1 for the next row, playlist track two. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I now have this at zero. Do, do. This is C, C sharp zero, D zero, D sharp zero. And then I made bank B a uh, repeat. So boom, 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 boom. This is what you need to do to set these up. Once you do this, you can send the program. But first, set your pad MIDI channel to one down here and your key bed controls MIDI channel, that's your keys, set those to two. Then I want you to click send to program one and then send to RAM. Oh shit, but you gotta make sure FL Studios is closed before you do that or else it won't work properly. So send, send to RAM. Good. You can even set program two to go further, C3, C sharp three, D3, D, et cetera. These will go down to the next four. So I have a whole eight by four bank with this setup. This setup that I have covers those and I'll show you how right now. Bitch. Now the way to program those, like I said, you have to send them to your MPK. You'll wanna start with program one. 
because that's what like the default is on everything is program one. Let me bring this back to our MPK screen. Before we can even do this, now we have to go to our options and we have to go to MIDI settings. When you're in your MIDI settings, you need to go to your MPK Mini 2, make sure, I, mean, I send mine to Master Sync, put it on port one since that was what we set the, the, the pads to be on, channel one or whatever. And then you have to go to your input and also set this to one. These have to be the same. I enabled mine, it's a generic controller type. That's what it is. Synchronization type can be at whatever. Now, the next thing you need to do is go down to here where you see performance mode, MIDI channel, and you need to set that to one, all right? After you've done all this, we should be okay. Now we can close and you guys will be able to do what's going on here. All right, so let me uh, untrigger everything, all right? If, as you can see, if you hold program select, th one of these will light up. This is the one you have already sent and selected. If I click two while holding that, it'll go to program two. I'm gonna need to use that to quiet down some of these. All right, so let's just start from the beginning. I'm on program one. This is where we set C, E, negative one, uh, C sharp, negative one, D, negative one, D sharp, negative one. Oh, and let me go to bank A. As you can see, this is the second row. I could go to bank B, which we set up for the next lower row. Uh, there's a few things you're going to notice that yours won't do unlike mine. So notice how if I press this, but I can also turn it off by pressing again. That's because I've right clicked my playlist track over here and I've set my press to latch. All of your default ones are going to be on re-trigger, which means if you press it, it's just going to re-trigger it again but at least you'll never stop playing music. Where like this one is set to latch. I prefer mine on latch. So that's just what I have mine set to. Other types you can do is stay one shot. You'll notice the one shots down here only press or only go when I press them. Uh, you can sync your triggers to different parts of the beat. Let's talk about extending the reach of your pads. I'm gonna show you guys how I set up and programmed my MPK so that it can go down all those different ones that you saw me doing. So let's get our program again from the input of the MPK Mini 2, just apply and get it. We need to go to program one, set these across the top. It needs to be toggle, this needs to be one, and this needs to be two, and these need to be C negative one, C. So that's like C, C sharp, D, D sharp. If that makes sense, how it goes up on the scale rather than the number, because the number will take the row where the notes will be the column that it's on vertically. So I've set this. Next, I've set number two to continue. So program two continues where this left off. C3, C4, C5, C6 same down the row and now i've set my three special i set it so that it hits the e's three four five over here this will hit those fifth ones out there that i need them to hit or you can set them to go even lower it's up to you what you want to do but i want to show you how to change your programs now between these so let's go back and look at program one this is most likely what your mpk is going to be on when you plug it in and you've probably never changed the program unless you've done it accidentally if you hold program select, like I said, it highlights the one you're on. If you hold it down, then tap. I'm now on program two, and we can go look at what that looks like. That's how you get back and forth on the playlist with FL Studios with these. You just go, oh, I need to be up there. Program one, bank A, bank B, ba ba ba, ba ba ba. 
Oh, I need to be on program two now. Ba 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 ba. So once you've connected or once you've made these programs and they look like mine, send them each. So send program one to send one. Then check your program two. Send it to program two. You can then mess with program three if you like. And send to program three. Now you'll notice that each of these still continue to have one and two. All right. One, one and two. One and two. And then send to RAM. What that does is it sends everything that you just programmed to the MPK. Now we can close this off. Let's back open up FL Studios again. Uh, so we already demonstrated how these pads are working. Retrigger, latch, things like that. Let's look at a few of the other playing options that we have just to see what they're like. All right. So let's look at what stay is. Of course, stay stays on the one you're playing. It makes sense. Next, we have one shot, which is the and then it ends. Those one shots are good for things down here. Hold and stop will only play when you're holding it. Hold in motion. I don't really understand that one. I'm gonna stick with latch. Let's look at march and stop. So march and stop seems to go all the way to the end. Let's see if these ones march correctly. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. So march and wrap goes through the thing wherever you set it. March and stay. Let's see how that acts. Oh, it goes through the end, it goes through, and then stays on the end. March and stop will go to the end and then stop. Random will just play randomly once you set it to go. And I can stop it again. Then you have exclusive random which guarantees it will never play the same spot again. With regular random, it might play the same spot again randomly. Exclusive random makes sure that it doesn't hit the same block twice in a row. I'm gonna go back to my stay. Now, of course, triggering will make it so I could trigger this on a half beat instead. You'll see it happens earlier rather than on the four beats, which plays out the whole clip before it goes up. You then have um, an auto, I don't know. Now tolerant, leave that checked. I don't know what that is. No one cares. Leave that on. Now we have something called Q. What Q does is it allows you to queue up the pads you say in order. So if you want to like think ahead like bars in advance, I could be like, I want three, two, one, three to play. That's what Q does. It puts them in a line. Um, position sync, I don't really know. So, Next thing I want to show you guys is that even when I'm doing this, I can play my keys. This is why we set our key channel to two. So what you can do is you can go down here to an empty track. You can right click it and you can go to track mode, instrument track, and then click, uh, I went with flex since uh, everyone's got flex now, but you can use any of the other ones that come in, like FL keys or something. But let's uh, do flex. So I went to track mode, instrument track. Then I went to uh, flex. I put it in. Now, flex 
is on my second thing. I don't know what it does, but it's just automatically on there. And if for some reason you're not able to use flex, just go down here and make sure it's highlighted. You can right click or left click. Make sure it's on. Go back to your playlist. Double click this. Do double click, there you go. Now I have flex. And I can do my playlists at the same time. You'll notice something else I did was I linked my knobs to different parameters in Flex. Check this out. The wh and let's do more. The way to link any knob and, oh, sorry, you, you should have been able to see more of that. Anyways, you, you get the idea. The way you can link any knob, and I have a tutorial on this if you have any more questions, is you can right click and then you can click link to controller. So let me find where my cutoff is set to. All right, let's do, re let's do uh, the resonance. There we go. Okay, so the way to do this is right click link to controller, and then move the knob you want to link it to. Uh, I also have this set to pitch. I forgot that uh, we did this one too. Anyways, um, the way to do that is just the same way. You right click link to controller, and then I'll just up, down, up, down, up, down. Right click, link to controller, right. You wanna make sure you hit that right or left, not those up or downs. Now these are connected on here. Uh, I like to set my appreciator to be internal clock timing. Go watch, check, go check out how to do the appreciator in a different video in this series. So I got a big, check out the playlist below if you have more questions on this. Let me see if there's anything that I didn't go into. I had one uh, specific question on uh, how to record while live playing. So let's say we want to record in performance mode, all right? I'll go up here and I'll click this button and I'll go to everything. Now it won't record like your normal mode because this is a performance setting uh, project, uh, which means it acts differently. If you ever put any of your projects into performance mode, you can go tools, macros, and then you can go to prepare for performance mode. But before you do that, save it as a new, a brand new project because there's no going back. It'll say, are you sure you want to do this? Make sure you save a new project. So now I have my recording gone and let's look at how this works. Look at that. So now it's recorded all the inputs we did with our controller in live mode. Let's go ahead and look at take off, take off your record button. So all it does is record the inputs that you give it. Um, I wanna make sure we went over everything on this first one. Association, be sure to subscribe, of course, blah, blah, blah. All right, guys, 
so remember it's uh important that uh we have the pad set up and you send them you have to send it to the program first that's what happens when we select program one and two you have to send it to ramp send it to the mpk then go into your midi options in fl studio make sure those parts are lined up uh this will be how you're going to be able to use your mpk at its max potential in performance mode with fl studios uh, if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below, or if this helped out, please leave it in the comments, share it, like it. It helps me so much when you guys like my videos. Like That is like the best thing you can do to support me. Um, and if you do have more questions, seriously, leave them below. I'll make a video on it, or I'll link you to a video that I have that answers it. Uh, subscribe to the playlist, subscribe to my channel, and um, that way you can catch the next video that I'm going to do in this which is preparing any of your own custom projects to be used in performance settings. Say you have like this dope ass trap song that you've prepared and you wanna be able to go on set and play it live for a gig you got coming this weekend. Or you just wanna be able to show off your friends or you know, you don't wanna be in producer mode, you wanna be in DJ mode. I'll teach you how to change that project into a performance setting project safely so you don't lose your old project and you have one specifically set up for this anyways guys that's got to be about it thanks so much for checking out this video leave a like if it helped and uh you know leave a like anyways even if you enjoyed it or if you learned something new uh subscribe it helps me a ton likes help this video get shared helps the channel you guys have been killing it i'm almost at 8,000 subscribers and you guys are so much support to me that i can do these things uh in my spare time and uh be able to answer questions like these and if you have any more questions please just leave them in the comments below or just say your opinion or how cool it was or blah 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 whatever uh you guys make this happen. Um, I want to thank so much. Be sure to check out my uh, FL Studios playlist. I got a huge like 64 video playlist that teaches you so many different things in FL Studios. Go check that out. And if you have an Akai MPK, go check out the Akai MPK series. I'll put those in the title card at the end. Um, check out the music check out the videos like i said you guys just watching more videos and leaving likes helps so much it supports me and uh and it's an easy free way to do it i want to thank you guys for being here check out this video uh this has been professor and uh i'm gonna have to edit this ending a bunch because i am just rambling on like a motherfucker i love you guys just go check out the akai mpk mini playlist uh from like the newest series trust me you'll know your way around this thing back and forth if you go look at those videos i made from beginning to now you you guys will be able to use this as well as i do or better i don't even use it that well uh guys take it easy this has been professor and i'm out all right see you guys soon peace